welcome welcome my dear friends i welcome you all myself is professor dr rajendra raghuvir deshpande and i would like to discuss today a very interesting and important topic with relation to the skin problem as you know very well that i have already the youtube channel the serial medicine classes online online medicine classes for gp general practice so today we are going to discuss with psoriasis very important problem in the general medical practice myself professor dr rajendra raghuvir deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology this is my website and this is my whatsapp number 9226810630 and this is my mail id professor deshpande at the rate of gmail.com yes you can contact me for my all paid services online medical consultation online palmistry consultations on demand audio and video lectures by myself on any topic of ayurveda or allopathy and i request all of you please subscribe my youtube channel so what is the definition of psoriasis this is a chronic chronic but relapsing again and again inflammatory skin disease and how it is characterized characterized by circumscribed scaly patches scaly patches more on the scalp and extensor surface of your body so there are different causes but unfortunately exact cause is not known by the dermatological study it is found in all the ages in the children in the youth and in the old age in male and female but unfortunately exact cause is not known this is supposed to be autoimmune disease and i know that i have already explained in my many videos what is meant by auto immune disease this is the problem with your immune system usually immune system should start working when something foreign enemy come proteins or antigens they come then your body prepared the antibody then antigen antibody they fight with each other and always our body wins but here auto immune disease is our body cannot recognize our own body cells and our own immunity is fighting with our own body some different cells rheumatoid arthritis is a autoimmune disease so psoriasis is also supposed to be autoimmune disease the problem in the immune system it can be correlated with disturbed fat metabolism there may be septic focus in the body it can be the allergic type of the personality the main factor is a stress mental stress is very important with relation to the psoriasis this is psychosomatic problem so our treatment part must consist how we can relieve the tension of the person so there may be some hereditary influences so let us see the clinical features initial lesion is a red spot of different sizes appear in the different part of the body it's like a papular lesion and it is covered with silvery scales when you scratch scratching is there then they leave behind the shiny bleeding surface scaly scales are removed when there is itching and there is a, in behind that there is shiny bleeding surface this is called as a auspitz sign auspitz sign gradually these lesions enlarge and the large patches are created these lesions are usually symmetrical here and here right and left side palms both the palms both the soles extensor surface of the knees and elbow and sacrum and back also try to understand it can affect your nails also their nails become thickened pitted and striated in the middle aged patient in addition to the skin problem there may be some joint pains very similar to the rheumatoid arthritis but this is because of the psoriasis so this is called as a psoriatic arthropathy psoriatic arthropathy most important my dear friends this psoriasis disease has a natural remission coming down and relapse coming up so remission no symptoms good days i call it as a good days for the patient and when there is a relapse i call it as a bad days so my dear friends if you are practicing homeopathy ayurved please don't make any tall claims unless and until you have the record of the patient for minimum 10 to 20 years consecutively you cannot say that i have cured the psoriatic patient yes you can say i have relieved from the severity frequency and intensity of the disease 
So you can reduce the time period in between the relapse and the remission. You can reduce the intensity, but you should not stay, say that I have cured the particular psoriatic conditions. Okay, what is the treatment in allopathy? This particular video is restricted for allopathic knowledge only. Please try to understand. I have separately made it, making the separate video now for every skin disease. Allopathic aspect in the separate video and Ayurvedic aspect in the separate video. So don't forget to check the medicine classes in GP this particular name of the playlist. So locally, we can apply the tar preparations and also the steroid ointments. Generally, steroids is used as a triamcinolone, which is also called as a kinacord, 12 to 16 milligram tablet orally. But nowadays, uh, this particular steroids, we are using visolone also. Vitamin B complex is also necessary. Vitamin D, good food and sunlight. But as this may be the fat disturbance, if you find the person is obese, there is a dyslipidemia, then try to counsel the patient that take little fat, little oil, little ghee, because there may be dyslipidemia with psoriasis. Try to understand. Only these patients should be restricted for that particular fat content. Now, this is all we have seen, but now past revision. This is a chronic recurrent skin disease, well circumscribed erythematous, red colored, raised plaques of various sizes, which are covered by thick silvery scales. These scales come off after scratching and exposed a few bleeding points, commonly seen on the skull, elbow, knees, palms, and soles. Disease is characterized by up and down, up and down, exacerbation and remission. Vega avastha in Ayurveda, a vega avastha. Vega avastha up, a vega avastha down, exacerbation, remission, exacerbation, remission. What strikes you is a bilateral symmetrical that cracks and scales. Do not confuse with the fungal infection. In tinea, that is fungal infection, tinea manum, the dorsum of the hand is affected and not the palms. Psoriasis is on the palm. Fungal infection on the dorsal side of the palm. Psoriasis of the palm, can you see? Psoriasis. Pictures are always better for the skin problems. Now, psoriasis on the body treatment, exora cream after bath. If there is no response after the three weeks, dero bean ointment, one half hour before bath, it is washed off during the bath with soap and water. My dear friends, derobin ointment can cause irritation. It can cause staining of the clothes and skin. Please explain these things to the patient before prescribing derobin ointment. Then at bedtime, you can give the lobate ointment to apply on the lesions. Lobate ointment. Can you see the exora ointment? Benzoic acid, salicylic acid, ichthamol, and triamcinolone. This is steroid. And this is lobate ointment, clobitazole propionate, steroid ointment. PUA therapy can be given additionally. These treatments usually given by dermatologists for the resistant cases. Tablet neosuraline, two tablets in the morning followed by exposure to the sun or UV rays. There are also machines after two hours for 20 minutes and this is done consecutively for three to six months injection kinacord intralegionally inside in isolated patches if there is isolated patches separate patches you can try for injection kinacord at that particular lesion but you have to learn that particular technique tablet neotrig z tablet neotrig z 2.5 milligram od three times in a week because this is very toxic drug, toxic medicine to be gradually increased. Drug is very toxic. Remember, don't use, it should not be used by general practitioner. It is a duty of consultant. Bone marrow depression may be there. Liver toxicity may be there. Better should be used by specialist because we have to check the blood count, whether there is a neutropenia or the pan leukocytopenia. Platelet count, you have to see for platelet count. Liver function test, 
it should be done every month periodically can you see this is new serilin tablet and this is new tigzet toxic this is a toxic huh? be careful about this medicine psoriasis on the scalp is this condition of the region have a tendency to cross the hair line can you see hair line this is my hair line and spill out on the skin of the face so it is not only restricted with the scalp it is coming on the face coming on the face in seborrheic dermatitis in seborrheic differential diagnosis only scalp is affected no facial skin seborrheic dermatitis only 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 scalp but in psoriasis scalp lesion comes out comes out on the face can you see here psoriasis of the scalp and this lesion is coming on the face as well it has crossed this particular hair line it has crossed this hair line this is most important the basic morphology is the same raised erythematous flakes with a sharp bottom and heavy silvery scales the immediate differential diagnosis will be seborrheic dermatitis there are no flakes raised above the skin in seborrheic dermatitis the lesions are diffuse may involve the whole of the scalp but do not cross the scalp margin scalp margin is crossed in psoriasis and not in seborrheic dermatitis can you see seborrheic sorry scalp psoriasis this can cross this margin and come on the face what is there polytar shampoo to wash the scalp during the bath polytar shampoo then profisalic lotion after bath and at bed time injection can have 10 mg per ml intra lesionally if there is isolated separate 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 thick patches then locally you can give the steroid kinacord otherwise there is shampoo and lotion prac matar ointment or betnovet ointment another prescription there are lot of medicines that are available now one two prescriptions are over this is the next prescription don't get confused not all the prescriptions all the time so prac matar ointment or betnovet ointment on the lesion psoriasis inside tablet by so long 5 mg 1 tds for 7 days only in acute exacerbation only this is called as a short course steroid short course steroid steroids have the benefits as well as many 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 side effects so ask the patient don't take any visolon steroid of your own otherwise he will suffer from diabetes mellitus hypertension peptic ulcer osteoporosis these are the major side effects of uncontrolled use of steroid injection human immunoglobulin can be given sometimes 10% 1 ml intramuscular every week for four injections for the resistance cases i have already talked to you melanocil 10 mg two tablets in the morning after two hours exposure to the sun or ultraviolet rays for 3 to 6 months tablet methotrexate 2.5 mg od for 7 days these medicines should be used cautiously as we have already discussed lot of side effects are there psoriasis on the back typical silvery white scales psoriasis can you see the pictures psoriasis on the leg red scaly lesions on the leg with silvery white scales white silvery white which can be scraped off common sites are knees elbows hands lumbosacral region palm soles scalp and nails gutet psoriasis on the leg this is small circular or oval erythematous plaques red color erythematous plaques minimal scaling minimal scaling can you see previous lot of scaling now this is very few scaling affect the trunks proximal parts of the extremities this is called as a gutet psoriasis psoriasis on the chest and abdomen generalized psoriasis silvery scales redness of the skin redness of the skin indicate active stage of inflammation nail psoriasis nail classical change pitting on the nail surface onycholysis don't forget onycholysis elevation of the nail from the nail bed elevation of the nail from the nail bed onycholysis is also seen in the fungal infections of the nail so you have to compare psoriatic whether it is a steroidic 
or whether it is a fungal infection. My dear friends, all these videos are for educational purpose only for students, doctors, teachers, etc. No patients are expected to take their medicines of their own. If they do so, then that is their own responsibility. Myself, Professor Deshpande, will not responsible for any type of problem when the patient consumes of their own. Try to understand. So I am very much thankful for all of you. Please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and circulate all these videos to your many friends. And don't forget to check every skin problem with the Ayurvedic another video. Ayurvedic treatment, another video. Always remember for all types of skin problems. My dear friends, I have already uploaded gastrointestinal problems in GP, respiratory problems in GP, cardiovascular system problems in GP, nervous system problems in GP. All these lot and lot of videos are available on my YouTube channel. So please support my and give the feedback. Thank you very much. Take care. And now I am closing this video. Thank you very much. Take care. We have discussed psoriasis today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. I wish you all the best. Thank you.